Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pran Patel here. So today we will discuss about fistula in a nerve types. So types of fistula in a nerve. So what is the fistula? Fistula is nothing but a abnormal connection, a tubular wound kind of structure, which is having two opening, which are connected by a tubular structure, and these openings are opened into two epithelial surfaces so this kind of wound is called as fistula in an nerve so this is a abnormal connection of two epithelial structure two epithelial surfaces by an abnormal connection is called as fistula and if this happens in anal region then we call it as fistula in eno next comes before going into a fistula in eno types so we'll discuss in brief about the anatomy of the inner rectal region very briefly we'll discuss as we know the rectum has a different layers so this is the rectum and this is the anal canal so the innermost layer is the mucosa and afterwards there is a, another layer comes that is submucosa and a muscular layer the, then this is a longitudinal this is circular muscular layer longitudinal muscular layer serosal layer when this muscular layer circular muscular layer enter into the anal region it becomes somewhat thicker than the previous dimension so this is called as internal sphincter which is involuntary in nature which is involuntary in nature so here multiple glands will be there and which are spread across the internal sphincters and towards the external sphincter and this is a internal hemorrhoidal plexus and these are external hemorrhoidal plexus so this is a circular fibrous which is a continuation of the muscular coat of the rectum we at the uh, anal region we call it as internal sphincter and this is the levator ani which is attached with a, another bundle kind of or thicker structure which is called as external sphincter particularly deeper external sphincter and superficial external sphincters and subcutaneous external sphincter among the superficial deeper and so subcutaneous external sphincters deeper external sphincters is much thicker so as i told so there will be some multiple glands will be there i have shown only one because this is a cross section of the inner rectal region so any infection here which may spread either upwards downwards or which may cross the external sphincters so depend on these natures of the infection we classify the types of fistula any infection here it may spread into the perianal region perianal region or ischiorectal region or into a pelvirectal region here this is these are the scripts 
क्रिप्टो ग्लैंडुलर इन्फेक्शन क्रिप्टो ग्लैंडुलर इन्फेक्शन कैन स्प्रेड एनीवेयर दिस आर द स्पेसेस बेस्ड ऑन द वेयर इट इज स्प्रेड बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी क्लासिफाई इट एज डिफरेंट टाइप्स we classified sphincters one is external sphincter second one is internal sphincters okay these things we have to remember we classify the fistula into low anal fistula and high anal fistula what is the base to classify the low anal fistula and high anal fistula so as i told fistula will be having a two openings okay so one opening will be on the external surfaces somewhere here if this is the infection and it may spread like this and another opening may go into the anal canal based on the position of the internal opening we classified the fistula into low anal fistula high anal fistula if it has crossed the anorectal ring somewhere like this so we call it as high anal fistula and if it is in the anal canal we call it as low anal fistula so this is a one classification among the low anal fistula there are sub classification and same in the high anal fistula also in the low anal fistula and high anal fistula we have divided based on the position of the internal opening among in the sub classification we divided the fistula into different types based on the course of the fistula how it has traversed whether it has crossed the both the sphincters and opened up here that is a transsphincter fistula and whether it has crossed not touched the external sphincters only it has touched the internal sphincters then it has the internal sphincter fistula so we'll come in come across those things later so i repeat so based on the internal opening we have classified low anal fistula and high anal fistula among the low anal fistula this is if it is in the subcutaneous level then we call it as subcutaneous fistula submucosal level we classify it as the submucosal among the low anal fistula i'm telling so apart from submucosal subcutaneous and submucosal fistula there are some other types also there one is intersphincteric fistula i want to zoom it okay among the low anal fistula this is intersphincter fistula then what happens in the intersphincter fistula so this is the external sphincters and this is the internal sphincters so if there is a infection here so it traverses like this this is the external opening and this will be the internal opening so this gland has infected so in this is called as inter in between the two sphincters intersphincteric fistula and next one is transsphincteric fistula so if there is a infection okay cryptoglandular infection it may open up here because this is a low anal fistula and travels across the external sphincters and open in the ischiorectal region so this is called as transsphincteric fistula and another one is suprasphincteric fistula in suprasphincteric fistula what happens if this is the infection so and this will be the opening it travels across the sphincters and open up here 
and it may open up in the multiple form also. So this is called as supraspentric fistula. So according to this is Park and his colleagues classification which is established in the year of 1979. So Park and colleagues. So this is Park classification. And among the park classification, as I told, one is low anal fistula and another one is high anal fistula. So high anal fistula, what happens? So there will be infection. So primary infection will be here only. This is extra sphincteric fistula. And another one is trans sphincteric fistula. Dear friends, so there is a correction here. So, this is not 1979, this is 1976. So, now we will move into a high anal fistula. So, very rare variety of fistula. So, among the high anal fistula, so one is extra sphincteric fistula. So, if there is an infection, so Fistula moves like this and internal opening will be somewhere like this. In the inner rectal region. So another type is trans sphincteric fistula. So here, so it's a opening will be somewhere like here and infection, initiation of the infection will be here and this is a trans sphincteric. So somewhere thing like this. So, internal sphincteric volume in the high anal or in the rectum. So, that is why. So, this is this kind of classification comes in the high anal fistula. Now, among this, which is the most commonest fistula? So, according to Park, he and uh, that submucosal subcutaneous he has not included in his classification and this is the classification given by the park he called it as type 1 fistula that is intraspinctric fistula and transpinctric fistula he has called it as 3 and this is the four one, fourth one and sorry sorry this is third one and this high anal fistula together he told a type 4 and incidence wise intrasphincteric fistula is 45 percent and transphincteric fistula is 30 percent and supraspinctric fistula is 20% and high anal fistula together means all these together is 5%. All together means extraspinctric and transpinctric together for the 5% incidence. So this is about the classification according to Park. So dear friends, most of the anorectal abscesses, anorectal sepsis move into the fistula formation. The incidence is 25%. So 25% of the anorectal sepsis move into a formation of fistula. So hopefully this video has become useful for you. If it is so, then kindly subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. And if you 
you find this is a worth value spending a time in my channel then kindly forward the video to needed people thank you thanks one and all